Hey guys, I want to show you a very simple process to make it super easy for your end users to export information from your dashboard in different formats, such as PDF, image, PowerPoint, or Excel. When thinking of your dashboard design, you need to remember that some individuals may only be logging in once or twice a month, and they may simply forget how to download that data. So you need to make sure that the dashboards that you are creating are user-friendly. So the first thing I've done here is I've created this blank object with a gray background and a dark gray border and I'm going to place my image buttons inside this object. So to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate over under objects, and then you're going to select download. You wanna make sure that you are working with floating layout container, and then you're going to simply drag and drop it into the space. And as you can see, by default, Tableau is going to create a text button for you. So what you have to do is you have to customize it. I'm going to show you guys a website which I use to download my vectors for free. So the website is called flaticon.com and if you navigate over to your browser and type in www.flaticon.com, that should take you to this page. So here's where I can search for my icon or vector that I would like to use in my dashboard. And I'm simply just going to type in PPT for PowerPoint. I'll click enter and here we can see a number of different icons that we can download. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to download this PNG and I'm going to select free. All right, so now I'm back in my dashboard and what I wanna do is I wanna edit this button that I created initially. So I'm going to click on more options. I'll choose edit button. Let's set this to PowerPoint. We're going to choose a image button for our button style. And then we're going to load our image. We'll choose one of the images that we downloaded from flaticon.com. And then we also have some additional options for further customization. So we can choose to add a border or a background color. If you wanted to provide some additional instructions on how to use your image button, you can go ahead and enter those instructions directly in the tooltip text. And so here's our first image button. Next thing I wanna do is I want to um, align it inside my blank object here. So let's go ahead and test it out. Um, when I hover over the image button, we see some instructions. So we have to hold Alt and click to download our information as a PowerPoint presentation, okay? So we'll simply just save it and then we can go ahead and open it later to make sure that it looks good. And so as you can see, um, I can download my data in three different formats. I can download my data as a PDF, as an image, and as a PowerPoint presentation. The only format that I'm missing is the cross tab or Excel format. And that is because you actually have to publish your dashboard to the server in order to get it to work. So what I mean by that is if I select download um, and if I drag this in, and if I edit my button and select Excel or cross tab, change this to an image button and let's say I choose an image. So let's say um, Excel. What's gonna happen right now is it's going to be grayed out. And when I hover over this particular button, you're going to see a message that this option is only available when you publish your dashboard to Tableau Online or Tableau Server which is totally fine because what you can do is you can bring it into your dashboard and then when you publish it to Tableau Online or Tableau Server, it's going to be available for your end users to, um, to use it to download their data in this specific file format. So let's just take a quick look to see what our information is going to look like once we actually publish it to the server. So here we can see that after publishing our dashboard to Tableau Online, we can still use our download buttons. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave your feedback in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more Tableau tutorials.